Addiato, and I am going to teach a remedial lesson in um, word recognition. This is to improve uh, word recognition and automaticity of uh, high frequency words. So I have with me my son Max, who just finished the first grade, and this is an activity we actually did throughout the school year with him because he struggled a little bit with learning his sight words, um, and he had a little bit of struggle with spelling. So. He and I worked on this um, throughout the school year, and so I'm going to demonstrate this lesson to you. Uh, it's something you can do at home um, with your kids or in the classroom. So, Max, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show Max uh, his new, we're going to say these are his new high frequency words that we're working on. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show Max these words, I'm going to say the words, and then I'm going to have him read them and repeat them. That's the first step of this activity. So, Max. These are your new words that we're going to work on today, okay? Okay, so the first word that we're going to read is and. The word is and. Can you say it? No, it doesn't. And. Very good. The next word is old. Oh, Very good. The next word is good. You knew that word before I even said it. That's awesome. The next word is by. By. Very good. And. The next word is ask. Very good. Can you say ask? Yeah. The next word is what? What? Your next word is when. When. And your next word is as. as. Very good, Max. So now that we've gone over his new high frequency words, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and just shuffle them in his deck of words that he's already had. Now these words were um, identified by um, going through different activities with Max. Um, since he completed first grade, these words came off of the Dolch um, sight word vocabulary list that was in our text. Um, and for your particular students, you're gonna work on the words that they need to practice on to kind of build up their word recognition. So they were the words we're gonna say Max needed to work on. Max already has a predetermined set of words. Some of the words in this deck are words that he's fairly fluent with, but we're still practicing on. Um, because we don't want them to be words, this whole deck of words that, of cards he struggles with. We want to give him some confidence of the words that he knows. So there's going to be words that he's pretty good with in here, that he's almost ready. We're almost ready to take out of this deck because he's mastered. We're also going to have cards in here that he's working on, and then we also have his new cards. So what we're going to do is we're going to have Max go ahead and now read his deck of cards. And when we're doing that, we're going to have... Um, put them in two separate piles. One pile will be the deck that he's completed and that he knows, and the other deck will be cards that he's still gonna work on and we're gonna do a little bit further of an activity with. Max. So Max, what I need you to do is I need you to read these cards to me out loud so I can hear you, okay? Oh. This word, Max, is, the word is of. So Max, I'm gonna say, Max, this word is of. Can you say of? Uh? Of. Uh. Very good. The going. next one? Going. Very good, so that's gonna go in the completed pile. Any, very good, Max. And and very good. That's one of your new words. Very nice. Oops, this one's upside down. And this, this word very close. This word is once. Can you say once? Very nice, Max. Or good. Her. Very nice. Live. Oh, this is a tricky one. You're right because it could be live or very nice. Very good, the word is then. What made you think it had an M on the end? <laughs> you didn't see it? I just thought it was like kind of a race. Oh, okay, but you then you realized it was an N. Very good. Then, mm -hmm. other, this, uh, other. Okay, this word is over. Can you say the word over? Mm -hmm. Good job. This word round, is round. round. Very good. I'm gonna put that just because you first, when you first saw it, you, you thought it was round. You should put it road. in the middle, like a middle. Okay. Well, how about I put it kind of right here because we'll practice it one more time. Okay. How about this word? Thank. Oh. Other. This word is other. After. after. You see it now? Okay. This word is after. Can you say after? Just how. Look at 
these words you know. I give mom by every. Very good, every. It sounded like you wanted to say everywhere or everyone. Yeah, but you just saw the word every, right? Mm -hmm. Nice work. Some kids put open talk. Tea. Okay, what made you think it was the word talk? I kind of thought that was an opening. Okay, but now you see that it's take? Okay, well, we'll put that in the pile because you, you corrected pretty quickly. Okay, so now that we've gone through our word cards, we have a list or a pile that he, um, there was some type of error, um, whether or not he initially said one word because he thought it, it was, you know, a word, but then self-corrected, uh, as well as words that he um, mispronounced. So we're going to go ahead and I'm going to say to Max, now that we, during the review, we, um, we went over them, I'm going to say, Max, pick me three cards. All right. And what we're going to do with these three cards is we're going to go ahead and flip them so he can see them. And I'm going to say, Max, pick the word over. Very good. So now we're not asking him to repeat the activity again. We're just doing it in a different way, a different delivery of, again, recognizing the words. Max, pick the word after. Oh, you are good. After. Very nice. All right. Oh, Max, pick the word once. Very nice. And since we only have two left and it's a 50-50 shot, I'm going to say, Max, can you go ahead and tell me what that word is? Um, Very close. That word is round. 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 Very good. And how about this word? Oh, oh, over, uh, oh. Okay, it's not, there's not two Fs, so the word is of. Uh. The word is of. You say it. Oh. Uh. Very good. So we'll keep practicing these. So now, you again, you can see there's two piles. The words completed and the words that we're practicing. So now, in order to incorporate writing into this and the spelling, I'm going to go ahead and have Max, I'm going to have you write some. So in order to make it fun and kind of give him a little bit of control in this activity, I'm going to tell him, because writing is not Max's favorite, um, is it? No, you don't want to. You sure can. So I'm going to have him pick one card. All right. Oh, Max, this is a tricky one. Hold on. The word is round. You say it. I want you to say, when you write the letters, I want you to say the letters, okay? R, O, U, N, E. And what's that word? Round. Okay, tell me what the letters are. Round. Round. So spell R -O -U -N -D. it. R-O-U-N-D. What's the word? Round. Very nice. Okay, so we practiced that. You can have them rated anywhere from three to five times, but in order to kind of save some time, I'm only going to have them do it twice. Uh, and then what I'll do is I'll have them pick another word. There we go. Okay. So the next word, Max, you go ahead and pick it for me. And the word is, hmm, Max, what's this word? Um, on. You're very close. This word is once. 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 Oh, it does sound like O-W, doesn't it? Here, let's erase that. Can you spell it for me? Tell me what O N C E. And what's that word? Once. Once. Can you write it again and spell it? O N C E. And what's the Once. word? Yeah. Very nice. All right, we're gonna have them do it one more time. Max, go ahead and pick one more card for me. Ooh, tricky, tricky. Which one? <gasps> okay. And so this word, we'll erase this again. Max, what's that word? Uh, very good. So tell me what the letters are. A F T E R. What's the word? After. Okay, try one more time. F. Oh, make sure you look at this. L A F T E R. After. Very nice, Max. So he tried it twice. You again, you can have them do it more um, in the classroom we, as you're practicing. And so what you're going to do, because I think I accidentally put the once card in here and the round. So now you know that these are the words you definitely need to work on again. Um, and again, these are cards that he's pretty strong in, but will continue to work on. And when they get it, you know, consistently there's words in there that they get pretty consistent over time. I mean, you could just put a little check mark 
on the on the corners of each of those so you know that they're words of these guys and then as they continue to go you know continue the activity if you do this daily you can uh, continue to put check marks until they get five check marks and then you can pull them out as uh, what I talked about as one of my assessments you can pull them out and make a word ring of cards that they've mastered so not only can you know as a teacher of what words they've mastered based on that list but the student can also know and they'll see their word card ring of mastered words get thicker and thicker and it's kind of exciting it's a concrete way to show them of all the things that they're learning about so that's it again this is a really simple activity all it really took was a bunch of index cards a sight word list um, something you could use a you know a whiteboard or just like a, a folder with lamination on it uh, and a dry erase marker and an, and an eraser. So I thank you for um, watching and I hope you can use this lesson in your classrooms. Thanks.